Okay, welcome to another tutorial. Um, today I am getting inspiration from um, a tutorial called From Spoon Graphics. I'm going to link the original below. Um, but we're basically going to take an image and we're going to turn it from a summer scene into kind of a winter scene or any other season. Um, and so we're going to start with an image. This image is from Unsplash. Um, it's a photographer named Damien Pakowski. Um, I'm also going to link that below um, if you want to follow along with the same image. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this image smaller. So I'm going to go to file or sorry, image and image size. And um, I'm going to make it smaller because of the filters that we're going to apply. So I'm going to make it about 15 inches wide at the longest side. So maybe you have a portrait image and you can just kind of change it to about that size. Um, and then I'm going to hit OK just to make it a little bit smaller. Now another thing I like to do when I'm bringing things into Photoshop and working non-destructively is make a duplicate of the background. So I'm going to do that by hitting Command J. Um, this is the key command for duplication. And I'm going to rename this original image. Just so I have it, I'm going to lock it right here on the Layers panel and I'm also going to hide it. So that's just going to be there um, in case I need to um, make changes to it. I'm also going to label this as um, Sunset. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take down the hue and saturation on this image. So this is a very saturated image. It's kind of like a sunset. Um, we're going to take out the warmer colors in there. So I'm going to go down to my adjustment layers down at the bottom of the layers panel. I'm going to go to where it says hue and saturation. And that's going to pop up my properties panel. If you're not seeing this, I'm actually going to put this into my workspace here. And here you'll see where it says master. You can actually go through each one of the colors um, in this image and kind of take them down one at a time so you have control over each one of the colors. So I'm going to focus on kind of the reds and the yellows, um, some of the greens as well. Depending on your image, you might have a lot of grass that you need to take some of the saturation out of the greens. I'm going to leave the sands and the blues alone. I'm also going to take down the saturation of um, the magentas. So you can kind of see if I turn off and on this hue saturation that it really kind of starts to dull out those bright colors because when you see a winter scene you're not seeing as much warmth as you are in the summer so that's the first step the next thing I want to do is I actually want to create the simulation of snow on the ground so in order to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a selection um, based on color. I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer just clicking on that plus sign down at the bottom of the layers panel. It's going to create an empty layer with no pixels um, and then I'm going to go to select. I'm going to make sure that I am on this sunset because I have to I want to select layers in there. I'm going to go to select and then color range and I'm going to um, pick areas in here that I feel like might look right if there was kind of a freshly fallen snow or if it was snowing on the ground it was starting to collect. So I'm going to, I can hold down shift. I want to make sure that localized color clusters is selected and that my range is at 100%. And you can see here there's like a little thumbnail of the image that's showing up in black and white and back here you can actually see um, some white. When I'm using the color range, I actually can select in both the um, thumbnail here and in my image. I can hold down shift to select more areas. Um, and I can also slide this fuzziness to kind of um, either select more or select less. Um, if I want to select an area like maybe I don't want the front here, I can hold down the option key and that would deselect. Okay, so that's pretty much the same for all selection tools in Photoshop. Um, shift is going to add to your selection and option or alt is going to subtract from your selection. 
So once I'm happy and I'm like, yep, that looks like what it would look like if I had a little bit of snow falling, I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to create a selection. I'm going to see my dancing ants here. I'm going to go back to that fresh layer that has no pixels on it. And what I want to do is I want to make sure my foreground and my background are original. So I can click on this little mini version of it. And then I'm going to hit Command Delete, which what that's going to do is it's going to fill my selection with the color white. Command Delete is going to fill it with the background color. Then I can hit Command D or Deselect, so I can go up to Select and Deselect, and that will deselect um, my selection. Now there might have been some areas in there that picked up that you don't really want the snow on. So if that happens, what we're going to do is we're going to create a mask on this layer. So I'm just going to click on the mask symbol down at the bottom of the layers panel that kind of looks like a Japanese flag. It's a rectangle with a circle in it. I'm clicking on that. Um, I want to go back to my original um, foreground and background and I want my black to be in front. So I'm using the key commands for this D to get back to my default foreground and background and X to um, switch them so that my black is in front. And so now I'm going to take my paintbrush, make sure I have my mask selected, and I'm just going to paint with black in the sky and the other areas that I'm like, oh, that doesn't look like a good place for snow. I might even kind of come down here. I want to soften my brush a little bit to turn the hardness all the way down so that um, I can kind of just softly get rid of the snow in some of these areas. I'm going to make another duplicate of my original image. So I'm going to take this and um, I'm going to hit Command J. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to bring it to the top. So I'm just going to label this contrast. Um, and we're putting this in here just to kind of create a little bit more contrast. We're going to change the blending mode, which is on the top of the layers panel here, to soft light. And we're also going to change the opacity to 30%. So this just creates a little bit more contrast. I can kind of turn this off and on to show the difference there. We're going to add um, another adjustment layer. It's just going to be a solid color adjustment layer. Um, so you're going to go to the adjustment layers, that little black and white cookie down at the bottom of the layers panel and choose solid color. The solid color, we're going to make it like a cyan color, like a bright cyan. This is just to kind of like give it a little bit of a blue hue. Um, we're going to also change the blending mode for this to soft light and then we're going to take it down to about 10%. Now any of these numbers as far as like the percentages or the adjustments, you can kind of cater to um, what looks best for your image because every image is going to have like a different effect to it. Um, in fact, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to adjust like a little bit of um, maybe the blues and the reds. I'm going to take that down even more than I had it before. Um, and even maybe my greens. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we actually want to add snow to this. So I'm going to go up to the top of my layers and I'm going to add a new layer. Again, this is a completely empty layer. I'm going to hit Command Delete, which is going to fill it with white because my white is in the background. If it fills it with any other color, it's probably because your white is not in the background over here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add some noise to it. So we're going to go up to filter and this is why we made the image a little bit smaller. You're going to go down to noise and then you're going to go to where it says add noise. Now there's a couple settings on here that we want to have. We want to have the amount to 400% all the way to the top. We do want to have it on Gaussian and we also want to have it on monochromatic because if you don't have it on monochromatic, you're going to end up with colored snow. So we're going to choose monochromatic and then hit OK. Now. We want to add a blur to this because we want to make it look like snow. So we're going to go to filter, we're going to go to blur, we're going to go to Gaussian blur. 
you're going to make sure that it's just at one pixel and you're going to hit OK. This is going to make it look a little bit softer. Then we're going to do this again, but we're going to have it kind of like in motion because we want it to look like a snowstorm. So we're going to go to filter. We're going to go down to where it says blur. We're going to go to motion blur. And then here you can adjust the angle. So let's say, you know, you want your snow coming from one direction or the other. Um, the distance five pixels is good and we're going to hit OK. Now this still isn't quite looking like snow. So right now, if we zoom in, we kind of have a lot of white going on and a lot of um, little speckles. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to image adjustments and levels and this is going to help us to bring down the amount of white so you're going to just take that top slider you're going to slide it down to the right and you can see that it's starting to um, break up those little white bits a little bit and it's turning them um, spreading them out so you can go as far as you want and then you're going to hit OK okay I'm going to zoom out a little bit and one last thing that we're going to do to this layer is we're going to make it a little bit larger. So I'm going to hit Command T, which is going to give me a bounding box around my image. I'm going to hold Option and Shift and drag that to make it a little bit larger. Okay. Then in order to make it so that I can see the image below, I'm going to just um, double click to make sure that that resizing becomes permanent. And I'm going to go up to the blending modes. And I'm going to change this to screen. And when I do that, the screen is allows it to um, hide all the black and just leave us with white. So now you can kind of see those snowflakes. I'm going to do this again. This time I'm going to um, make my snowflakes a little bit larger. So again, I'm adding a new layer. I'm making sure that my foreground and background are the default. I'm hitting um, command delete and filling it with white. Then I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise, make sure it's at 400, Gaussian, monochromatic. Then I'm going to go to my filters. I'm going to say blur, Gaussian blur, one pixel, filter, blur, motion blur. This time I'm going to switch up the angle just a little bit so that it really has the um, appearance of like a snowstorm and the snow going in different directions. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to go to image adjustments, go to those levels, bring down the black. OK. Now this time when I resize command T, I'm going to make it even bigger than I did before. So um, I'm holding Option and Shift, and I'm making that snow a little bit bigger, double clicking or hitting that check mo mo box to confirm it, and then I'm going to go to screen. And you can see that the snow that third time looks um, like maybe it's a little bit closer. So I'm going to do this one more time. New layer. Fill with white, filter, noise, add noise, 400 Gaussian monochromatic. I'm going to also go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, one pixel, filter, blur, motion blur. This time I'm going to switch it again. I'm going to make it a little bit further this way. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to go Command T. Oh, actually, um, well, it's OK. It doesn't matter which order I do it in. So I'm going to make this one even bigger. And then I'm going to also, I'm going to confirm that, double click or hit the checkbox, image, adjustments, levels. And this time I'm going to go even further with um, the black slider. 
because I don't want as many snowflakes at this size. And then I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to screen. So that's it. So I'm going to take all of these layers here and I'm going to put them into a folder. And that way I can actually see my before and after. So there's before and after. And we've got sunny and snowy. And so that's basically it. And you can use this snow um, in other images too. It doesn't have to be just that you're changing an image seasons. Maybe you have an image that already has snow and you just want to add a snowstorm to it. So um, some of the things in here can be really helpful and applied to other things. I hope that this is helpful and you enjoyed it. La 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 la. Do me a favor. Like, follow, and subscribe.